Thank you. Hi, I'm Jason Bray, District Ranger for the Hebgen Lake Ranger District. We are here at Rendezvous Ski Trails to talk about uh, the proposed fee increase that we have um, coming up that we intend to implement this season on the trail system. Prior to that, I want to just talk a little bit about the ski trail system. Rendezvous is approximately 35 kilometers of world-class Nordic skiing that is managed under a cooperative agreement between the Forest Service, West Yellowstone Ski Education Foundation, and the West Yellowstone Chamber of Commerce. Um, if you were to take any three of those entities away from that agreement, um, these, these trails just simply would not be able to function and be the world-class system that they are today. Hi, my name is Kelly Hart, and I am on the board of the West Yellowstone Ski Education Foundation. We are excited about the, um, the fee increase uh, for many reasons. Um, one being the fact that the trails um, are one of the best assets uh, in West Yellowstone and the surrounding area. We have people coming from all over the country um, to ski on our trails because of the train and the incredible grooming we have. The fee increase at Rendezvous Ski Trails is made possible by the Federal Lands Recreation Enhancement Act. This piece of legislation enables five federal agencies, including the Forest Service, to collect fees at designated recreation sites. It also outlines a robust process for the proposal and approval of any fee increases. Recently, numerous recreation sites on the Custer Gallatin National Forest, including Rendezvous, successfully went through this process. As a result, the Forest Service will implement the fee increase at Rendezvous Ski Trails on February 1st, 2021. Under the Federal Lands Recreation Enhancement Act, or FLORIA, 95% of fees that are generated through users on Rendezvous Ski Trails come back directly into the ski trail system for the betterment of the trail system. So that, that covers everything from uh, winter grooming summer trail maintenance, uh, Forest Services administration, and sign maintenance on the trail system. With the fee increase, uh, it is fairly substantial. It, it also has not been increased since the 2011 ski season. Um, in acknowledging the, the steepness of the increase, we did a couple things that hopefully will alleviate um, that burden um, on skiers. One of which is uh, skiers 12 and under will now be free. In addition, um, we will be implementing a new three-day pass. And so um, users will be able to get three days of skiing for the price of two. Hi, I'm Molly Moore and I work uh, in the Hebgen Lake Ranger District, Custer Gallatin National Forest. Um, I help out with a grooming program here. So two to three times a week, I groom National Forest Service trails. I also groom some park service trails. Uh, you can skate, ski, or you can classic ski. Uh, the for forest service portions of this trail are open to dogs, so you can bring your dog if you want to. Uh, the park service portion basically starts from the Riverside Trail off of Boundary Street in West Yellowstone and there's about two miles of groomed trail that will take you down to the Madison River. Also, the Riverside Trail and the Boundary Ski Trails are free opportunities, so no ski pass required. Uh, the other thing I wanna remind folks is that we look at skiing opportunities in West Yellowstone kind of holistically. So you, you have um, rendezvous ski trails, again, world-class skiing, there is a fee involved, but that there are also opportunities to ski for free on groomed ski trails around West Yellowstone. 